I'm the builder. <laughs> Put the candle down, lady. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. In case you're wondering what this is, even if you're not wondering, I'm gonna tell you anyways. This is a new bed. And in today's video, we are kind of redesigning our bedroom. The reason we're doing this is because in our last apartment, we had a much bigger bedroom. And I feel like when we moved into this apartment, the bedroom's much smaller. And I feel like furniture just consumes the bedroom. There's too many pillows, like the bed's high, so the dog stairs are in there. We decided we would condense our bedroom a little bit. We do live in a very old building, um, so our apartment is a giant loft, and our bedroom is just kind of, you know, two walls that are put up. They don't even, like, hit the ceiling. Let's get started. No! So before we get started with the building and the putting together, I'm gonna show you the bedroom as is and show you some things that were changing in it. Uh, so, let's do that. Let's go. Walking into the bedroom, here it is. So we are getting a platform bed so the bed won't be so high. That way we can move the stairs because I sleep on this side and if I need to get up and go to the bathroom in the night, I'm always tumbling over this. This is my little walkway right here. We are removing the gray pillows because those just end up going over here in my walkway, and that just adds for more of a disaster. I've literally fallen down more times than I can count. So lower bed. Then we are obviously getting new nightstands because these are gonna be too tall for the platform bed. And then we are doing sconces instead of lamps, so that way we will have more room on top of our nightstand. We're gonna do something above the bed as well. I'm not sure what yet, I have a couple of ideas in mind, so as we're like doing stuff, I'm just gonna kind of think throughout the, the day and decide what we wanna do. I think I'm leaning towards one idea, but uh, we'll see. We're getting a new rug. We're getting actually a bigger rug. This rug is from our old apartment. It was under the dining table, so it's just a little too small for this room, and I wanted to get something a little bit more clean, so we're just gonna do a white rug. Yeah, I think we're gonna start by taking this bed apart and then putting together the new bed in here, like right here, so. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just helping. Man. Wait, I have a. That is so true. Who is the builder in this relationship? You're the IKEA master. I yeah. am the builder and the putter together, and anything handy. Light bulb needs to be changed up high. Fan needs to be That's wiped down. That's not necessarily down. true. You I just take it upon yourself to do random things like that. I'm the as builder. if they're super difficult or something. I'm the builder. <laughs> bedroom. Now it's lunchtime. Lunchtime? I'm so hungry. Same. We are having spicy plantain and black bean tacos. I love it. Quick, easy. 771 calories, 110 carb, 27 fat, 21. Brian's always worried about the macros. It's a meal. And I'm just like, is it delicious? Is it delicious? Um, so yeah, Ryan and I are doing Home Chef. We are partnering up with Home Chef again because, I mean, we have a subscription of Home Chef outside of the partnership of Home Chef, but I feel like when that happens, the partnership just makes sense. So we are partnering up with Home Chef today um, to bring you lunch. Yeah! Uh, and we're doing spicy plantain and black bean tacos. And for those of you who don't know what Home Chef is, it is a meal subscription service. This is too bright, I'm so sorry. Basically, all you do is sign up, pick your meals, they get delivered, you cook it. They have calorie conscious, heart healthy options, vegetarian options. Um, so for us, for the vegetarian options, we just take out the cheese or we'll add our own vegan cheese so it's super easy to just kind of modify yourself. I like it because it tells you how long it's gonna take to prep and cook. 
so 20 to 30 minutes. And then on the back is the actual recipe, so even someone like Ryan can make the meal. Someone like Ryan. Everything you need, minus like your pans and stuff, and you want if you want to add extra salt and pepper, you can. You must have meant like extremely intelligent, hardworking, barely breaks a sweat doing hard stuff. Award-winning smuggle. Get out of here. Honestly, get out of here. It's actually so convenient for Ryan and I because everything's exactly portioned out. And since there's only two of us, uh, we don't have any leftovers. We don't have anything to there's waste. Only two of us? There's only two of us. Who would have thought? Because if you have someone visiting or nice something, if you Simple. have someone visiting, you can add an extra person, an extra serving. Just... You know what you can do, Ryan? That would be super helpful. Like so you can be out of my way. Like this. Give the people their discount code, their coupon code. Sure. You can't even see me, dude. Like this is. This we is only have so much counter space. Come on, man. No, I look like a thumb. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. So well, yeah, Home Chef is giving you guys twenty dollars off first four orders, which eighty dollars total, dollars total, which is a really really good deal. Yeah. But the real question is, is our can over going to work today? So I'm like, We're gonna get started cooking and we'll show you the fat fin it fat fat The finished product My heart is made of stone I know it's not my fault It's just the way it is My child was a boy my feelings got ignored Now I get back to now They should look like. <laughs> Ta -da. Pretty close. But you know what? They taste the same and that's all that matters. So this has been a super hectic day so far. Just like trying to get the bed and bedroom stuff put together. Um, what I mean by hectic is like stuff everywhere. There's stuff everywhere. So it was really, really nice to I have. Just, let, me, let me just. Stella's enjoying. Like that's a bed in the entryway. Really nice to show you guys um, Home Chef because this is such a lifesaver for us all the time and I will put the link here, and I will also put it in the description box for you guys. Okay, we're gonna eat lunch really quick, and then we're gonna get back to the bedroom. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easy. So we decided to go with this platform bed from Article. We looked, there was one at CB2 and then one at Article, but the one at Article looked a little nicer. The one at CB2 was like metal, and I was like, if we stump our toe on that in the night, it's gonna hurt. I feel like the lower the bed, the better. For, mostly for Stella, she jumps off the bed and she needs the stairs to get on the bed, and sometimes she's in such a hurry, she slips and like flies off of the stairs like a crazy lady. So it's just not good for her overall. Um, and also selfishly for myself because when I get up in the night to go to the bathroom and I round the corner of the bed, I sometimes like fall over it. That will eliminate those issues. Hey, you, oh, okay. <laughs> Our upstairs neighbors are really working hard right now doing something loud. 
Do you hear that? Yeah. Very important update. In her rush of trying to get it done, someone skipped a page. Can I just see you? what's in her hands right there? It's supposed to go under this in the middle. And see this? These are all screwed on already. Look, the pages were stuck together, and that's the honest truth. Mm -hmm. I wasn't rushing. The pages were stuck together. I swear. What have I done? I don't really break too easily, but I'm worth it. I'm sorry, but I'm a week saved. After every home game, every week, we went to the point hell of a season. Thanks to me. This is the face of an embarrassed carpentress. Carpentress? Furniture builder? I don't know which. Sure. Sure. Just watch me. So, instead of having these giant lamps like I told you guys earlier, we got sconces. We got the dimmer so we can voice activate it with Alexa and have it dim. Sorry if I just made anyone's Alexa go off. I don't know that one. Sorry. These sconces on Amazon and I thought they looked pretty cool and they plug into the wall which is nice because a lot of them have to go into an electrical outlet because that's just kind of what they're made for. I just got an update from FedEx that our rug is actually going to be here tomorrow which is kind of frustrating because it was supposed to be here today. It kind of goes, this plugs into the wall and then this kind of, well I'm not really sure, we're going to have to <laughs> put it on to see what it's going to look like. <sighs> This might have to be a two-day project. This might have to continue into tomorrow. It's getting dark out. What's Sweet. Sweet. All right, clean up. Okay, so update. We just cleared all of the trash out of the whole apartment. The old bed is gone and we just ate dinner. Everything pretty much like that needs to go to storage. Like this is going to storage. These were under the bed. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those yet. Ended up not putting on the sconces because we wanted to take the trash first. So here is the bed put together. I'm still waiting on our new nightstands. They're wood. And my rug's gonna get here tomorrow. So I just put this one down, which I kind of like. I actually might put the new rug down and then this one over it because I like the dark brown. She is like acting like she can't. You can jump up here. You can, you can reach. I know you can. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna go shower and we'll pick, oh, that is overexposed. Better? Better. Um, but we'll see you guys tomorrow. Did you just do a gang sign? It is what it is, you know. Sweet. Welcome to Saturday. Welcome to day two. Day two of bedroom and makeover. So I told you about the idea I had for the head, the, not the, the headboard, the uh, over the bed. We need supplies. We have to go to the office and then we have to go to Target to get said supplies. And then we'll meet back at the apartment. Um, do you want to go to the office first? That way we only have to carry like one thing to Target. Deal. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Look at these weenie dogs coming this way. You're so wild. I'm not gonna fight it. Hypnotized. Stuck inside my mind because you gotta, you gotta be something undefined for me. You're so wild. I'm not gonna fight it. What? 
have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Broken sequence. Thank you. Ready? Put that down. This is nice. Put it down. Put the candle down, lady. What's up? Alright, so we're at Target. Yeah. In probably the worst home section in the history of home sections. I mean, it's literally so pathetic. And also, the people that are here are frequent space invaders. <laughs> yes, they are. Case in point, many times. Come down here, it's quiet. <laughs> Meet me down here, on the bottom shelf. Ah, it's nice, nice to see you down here. Hi. So, it smells like clean bathroom. Yeah. 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 We're here at the worst Target, looking for a vase and some other little bedroom things that we maybe set our eye on. So far, nothing. Sweet. Come here, I'll show you. And I like this right here. It's almost a little too like farmhouse for me. Okay. But someone has crayoled it. The child is crayon. Yeah. Candle down. This is really smell this one. This is nice. It smells like cardamom and Fativer. Oh my god. The, the nose on me. How about Just that? that? This one's no, it's not. We don't need more candles. I like the gross. I like this, however. Okay. This one has a giant crack. It's got a bunch of cracks. This one has like gum on it or something. Alright. Okay. Nix all that. Oh, Progress. You like this? But this might be. You're just winning. You're batting a thousand, dude. Should we try to go downstairs? Let's check it out. I mean, they have 400 candles and one broken vase. Let's check it out. Verdict: nothing downstairs. Found deodorant. Got some pillows. Let's get out of here. Who would have a vase? Like uh, stuff? the internet. Yeah, that's expensive. Protein to mine too. Um, we're gonna go to anthropology now, whether Ryan likes it or not, and I'm gonna look for a face. Or not. <laughs> it's a sad, sad look. Sad day. Anthropology was a, not a winner today. No. Thank God. I'm just gonna... See ya. <laughs> so now we're gonna go into. Fulton Center because they have treats. You're in interrupting treat information right now. Not open. No donuts. But there is a Hagen Dazs and then that's a cupcake place on the other side. Did you say basic? Who are you? You know what else is basic? Buying home goods from anthropology. They have really beautiful things right now. Okay, well, candles, I mean, um, vase, anthropology. Words? <sighs> what? Sentences? Yikes. This outing was a bust. We got two pillows and a candle. 
no vases, vases. <coughs> Just have to order online. Ryan did find some cupcakes in Fulton Center. Where, where are they? Did you want to eat them? No, they're in my bag. Oh, okay. So yeah, now we're uh, we're on our way home. We're walking home. We'll be there in like five minutes. Wait. What? Did we need to get tax? Shoot! Yeah. Excuse oh. me, birds. Birds. Oh my god. Birds. This is like a rap video. I'm gonna have Go, like, pigeons going. I feel the one of the just got home. <sighs> Man. We got home and noticed that FedEx left a note on the door that says they tried to deliver my rug. Sad day. So, I'm not going to be able to show you guys the rug today because it's probably going to get here tomorrow. Actually, it probably won't because tomorrow's Sunday. So, I don't want to see. I don't know when it's going to get here. So, next I think we're going to put on the sconces. Um, I just got the box out, ready to go. So, yeah, I think we're going to do those. And then, I'm trying to think. I guess without the rug, that's the only thing left. Oh, the stuff behind the wall. Which I still am debating about. I'm not prepared. Hey. Fancy seeing you in this chair. This is my thinking chair. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about how I think I'm going to take a week off from interior design. Just a week? Or two. The sconces didn't work out. That's just what I'm going to leave it at. And I ordered this really beautiful dried pumpus grass bouquet that I was going to put in a mason jar for my nightstand. I got the mason jar, and it was a good size mason jar, like this big. I actually found it in our closet, I guess. It was left here. And the, my pompous grass bouquet came in the mail today, and I was so excited. So excited. I open it. You got a, got a boutonniere. You ordered it from Etsy, right? And they, they sent you a little, I don't know, would that be like a gram of weed? I just need to gather my thoughts. Really think about things before I go through with them. And this was a lesson learned, honestly. To have a plan, like a solid plan when it comes to decorating a room. We'll get them next time, champ. We'll... You should listen to me, though, about lighting and sconces before you buy stuff Brian, from Ryan, you literally wouldn't even give me the time of day when I was shopping for stuff for our room. You were... It's neither here nor there, though. The reason why I didn't give you a bunch of feedback is because I was under the impression you knew what you were doing. No, you weren't. Yeah, I was. No, you weren't. Yeah, was. Stop. Leave me alone. Okay, guys. We're ending the vlog right here. And no, gonna... let's go get some wine, and then we'll end it over some wine. How about that? I don't want to end it over wine. This video want... might be like seven minutes I long. I want this to be full size, so it fits in my mason jar. I don't want it to be little baby. It's getting all over your white sweater. And it's on your nose, somehow. I'm feeling like I'm in a better mood. I feel like it's not a big deal. It didn't work out, and it's fine. Honestly, like, the hardest part is over with. It's the bed. And... The nightstands didn't work out, the sconces didn't work out, and the headboard thing didn't, like the behind the bed thing didn't work out. <laughs> but next vlog, oh, and the rug wasn't delivered. But next vlog, I'll have the rug and I'll have the new nightstands. Okay, here's the overall takeaway. Here's what I, what about home decor. And I really think you don't need to try to get everything at once. I think it's good to just get like, get your rug and then get your nightstands and then see like, visually see everything in your room and then like okay what well, lamps are gonna look good get your lamps and then like okay what behind the bed is gonna look good so that was my overall takeaway from this experience of trying to get everything at once someone's smoking the grass yeah there's definite drugs my everywhere. pompous grass all right it's raining serious yeah smell of your hair
sorry about um, the failness. There's, uh, there's some failness. The failness of the vlog. Uh, but I guess, like I said, the biggest takeaway when you're decorating a room, don't try to get everything at one time. Start with your basics and then build on top. You don't have to have everything at once. I tried to do that because I really wanted to make this video good. Like, I wanted, like, in my head I pictured it like fast forward, like, mounting stuff, putting the rug down, like, putting things on the nightstand, everything coming together. But, like, in reality, like, realistically, that just, unless you're a professional and, like, because you see it all the time on, like, flipping houses I'm shows. Start small, build up. So you'll see the bedroom come to life within the next probably, like, two or three vlogs. But we'll have yeah. an update for you next week. Sorry um, this one sucked. Yeah. Promise they're better. Go watch another one. Sorry. <laughs> you want to order pizza? Yeah, pizza time. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys next time.